Ikemen Jiro, as I speak with you, may be the only person that has actually been released today, or at least announced as being released today. Although, much like yesterday, like Brian had told you, those cuts were expected later in the day, and they were actually expected to be deeper. So we may be still still seeing some more of this as we get closer to the close of business on a Friday. It's when a lot of these things can, can tend to happen. Uh, since we talked to you last, though, on Wrestling Observer Live, there have been a bunch more names cut. And a lot of these were names that you only saw if you watched NXT Level Up, Brooklyn Barrow, Quincy Elliott, who had a fleeting moment of fame before he completely imploded and blew all that up, along with apparently a bunch of goodwill. Kevin Ventura Cortez, who I believe was a extra that they had brought on and was at the PC. He is now gone. Alexis Gray, who was, I believe, a sprinter that they had signed. Uh, she has been cut. That's what I was saying yesterday when it came to NIL cuts and it came to the amount of people that are in there where I could see a lot of these people that may have migrated over from the NIL side of things without any wrestling experience whatsoever that they would be relatively quick to cut those people unless, again, it, you have a Tiffany Stratton or you have a Lash Legend who, again, wrestling-wise, you know, may never get there. We, we don't even see her wrestle anymore. But one of those big personalities, like if they can't imagine something with you, they have a ton of good athletes. So if you're not cutting it early, I can see more of those things happening. Just Just my, you know, feelings on it with the amount of people that they have. Dana Brooke, who I believe yesterday we talked about being cut, Dabakato uh, was cut, Ulyssa Leone, Daniel MacArthur, Bryson Montana, again, people that you had only seen on NXT Level Up, Mansoor, Mace, Dolph Ziggler, Shelton Benjamin, Emma, Aaliyah, Top Dollar, Elias, Riddick Moss, Rick Boogs, Shelton Benjamin, and Mustafa Ali are the uh, list of names that we have so far that have been cut. In this week's Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer quotes one WWE official as saying, quote, it's time in versus how much you, money you are paid versus return on investment, end quote, regarding the cut. So no real revelation when it came to that, you know, when, when trying to figure some things out. I mean... Shelton Benjamin was there for a long time and was there and not doing anything, unfortunately, because obviously he's a talented guy. Dolph Ziggler, I'm sure, was getting paid pretty handsomely. He has had a lot of time in. But what is the return on the investment right now with Dolph Ziggler? He went down to NXT for a little bit, came back up to the main roster. They got nothing for him. Riddick Moss. One of their, I don't want to say one of their great misses, because we don't really know. We never saw enough of a body of work from Riddick Moss where, man, are we missing something with him? He looked the part, you know, he, he had a, seemed to be okay on the microphone, although a lot of his time on the microphone that anybody knew him for was to be a giggling moron alongside Baron Corbin, you know, the whole... With Happy Moss or whatever the hell his name is, Happy Corbin and Mad Cat Moss or whatever, it sucked. You know, it seemed like that was a guy you could have did a lot more with. But, you know, to me, that was a lot of money wasted. How much money did you pay him over the years? And he sat there and it was great for him. He got to meet Emma, who unfortunately also along with him got cut yesterday. But he was one of those guys where it's like, this seems to be a lot easier than you're making it out to be as far as trying to build this guy into something or try to find something for him to do so. Unfortunately, those are the cuts, and I, and I sadly, I don't think that they're going to stop right now. We saw a lot of cuts corporately when it came to the office side of things, a lot of redundancy cuts and things like that. They do have a big roster. I will not be surprised if we hear about more of these things and, and maybe more word from people who will, will come out on social media over the weekend saying that they had gotten the call. Does this have anything to do with the stock price? No, but the stock price is is still down right now. Last time I checked it, it was about at eighty three bucks. It began trading ten days ago at one hundred and three bucks. It opened this morning at eighty six forty three. 
they just Wall Street apparently really, really does not like this deal that NBC Universal gave WWE for SmackDown. And it does not seem like they're bullish on whatever the next deal is going to be for Raw. I was thinking yesterday when it came to the Vince stuff, you know, is any of this playing a part? Is getting a big article written about you in the LA Times that even though it didn't really have a whole lot of teeth to it, you know, we did get the Ignis LaHood actually being on record as saying something. We had obviously somebody talked about the SEC investigations and the DOJ investigations that are going on right now when it comes to Vince. But the more I was thinking about it, you know, Axios has reported that Vince's shares are technically sellable right now. That gives them room to maneuver in case the government does come after Vince, that they can get those shares out of, of Vince and get them sold onto the open market, get them moved to, to somebody else. They seem to have a plan in place, and why would they not have a plan in place? Look at the names that are all tied up in, in Endeavor and, and look at their track record. I'm sure they covered all bases going into this knowing that Vince is a a still a hot button item for the government to be looking into with everything that has happened and he's had to pay back seven over 17 million dollars in, in hush money to women and in campaign donations whatever it was to the different sources they've had to pay that out before and I'm sure they know he can certainly pay that back so it doesn't seem to be though any of these investigations, you know, this doesn't seem like it's bothering Wall Street whatsoever as, as a day goes by. And we see those stories kind of get pushed to the side a little bit and kind of downplayed. It seems as if Wall Street's only issue right now is the bottom line coming from off of these TV deals. And I know we're pushing close up against break right now, but when we come back, I do want to take a look at where it's possible that Raw and NXT could go and who could actually bid on them at this point. And would that put AEW in a whole lot of peril? We'll be back, Wrestling Observer Live. Wrestling Observer Live, Mike Semper Vivi back here with you. No boss man Brian Alvarez today. I don't know where he's gallivanting about. Um, maybe it's uh, at, at the kids' school again. Seems to be an every Friday type of routine, but hopefully he's well wherever he is. He'll be back with Dave on Sunday night into Monday morning, I would believe, because I, I know Dave and and Garrett are going to be doing Wrestling Observer Radio as they do every Friday night for subscribers over at WrestlingObserver.com. And as I mentioned a little bit earlier on, Dave has put out the new Wrestling Observer newsletter. I have not had a chance to really go through it. I did see that he's, I saw the beginning of, he starts talking about Terry Funk. So you know it's going to be a, a good addition. Uh, before that is where he talks about all the business that has been going on right now, including SmackDown getting a 40% in Increase. They get a 1.4 times increase. Uh, you kept hearing uh, Nick Khan talk about 1.5, 1 1.6, 1 uh, you know, possibly higher when it came to these rights. But they got a 40% increase, $287 million a year from NBC Universal for five years. That is uh, obviously $82 million per year higher than what they were getting from Fox who was not an active participant in trying to reach out and get the rights and maintain the rights of SmackDown. And boy, what does that tell you? When SmackDown, when you look at their 18 to 49 numbers, when you look at what the, the, the overall numbers that they've been able to pull in for Fox, it shows you how important that advertising dollar is how important that prestige dollar is that it's attached to something else that's not pro wrestling the show is going to remain on friday nights on usa there were going to be four primetime specials on nbc i'm calling it down granny's memory lane are you oh. reading from your memoirs yes no no okay. no that's past oh okay this yeah, is new stuff this is more up to date, you know. I'm I see. More... Okay, this is the more recent stuff. Yeah, new old stuff. I just no, said. no, no. Okay, no, no. <laughs> the <laughs> New Testament. Everyone, let her go. We lived on a farm ten miles east of Baker. More and... recent, you say? <laughs> I was going to say this isn't new. No, this is old. It's old. Okay. Okay. 
Who said new? I didn't say new. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, we're just going to be quiet. And you, am I out of my mind? No, yes, we're all out of our minds. <laughs> now I'm upset. <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> I'll, I, I'm fining Vinny. Vinny, you're being fined $100. Oh. It was Martell's and Heebs. Heebs? Martell. <laughs> the Heebs. The Heebs. And the Heebs only had one daughter named Alice. <laughs> yeah. What's so funny about the name? The Hebes? The daughter Alice, uh, she knew how to yodel, and she was what what she'd call nowadays a rebel. The yodeling rebel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Granny, if I may interrupt, what did they call her back then? Alice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you thought I wasn't going to like this segment, Granny? This is the best segment we've had on the show in years. Hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.